Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of GTA Manhunt Checkpoint and I'm being sort of stalked by that um, that car over there at the moment so this is um, this may turn into a chase fairly soon oh no he seems to have, he seems to have shot off so what we're doing we're doing our normal checkpoint game here so um, as usual we're starting while I'm at the point of being about ready to approach the first checkpoint and I'm deliberately heading away from it a little bit at the moment because I have, have a cunning plan that is either going to be brilliant or absolutely awful and we're going to wait and see which we're doing something a little bit different this time um, because I mean it was mostly down to a sort of a wrong button press earlier when the uh, when the game was being set up but we've ended up in um, with sports cars as the uh, as, as the selection this time so we thought rather than faff around and reset and and, um, and go through and reset it let's 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 give it a try let's let's remove the no sports cars rule I'm still not going to use any supercars but the hunters are all going to now be in sports cars and I'm I'm in a sports car as you can probably see so this will make things a little bit quicker and we're going to see how that goes whether it makes the game better or worse and so, have I gone the right way? No, I've overshot. I wanted to take the previous turning. So I'll just whip round here. So this means things should be a little bit quicker. We're keeping the other rules the same. So um, we've skipped the Mirror Park checkpoint again, as, as, we, as we did in a couple of re recent uh, runs. And we're... Um, and there's no, sh no shooting from in vehicles. They have, um, But they can use any bullet weapons outside vehicles, etc, etc. Now, the so the first checkpoint that I actually have to try and take that's not going to be a, just a, a, an absolute gimme is the one over in Vespucci Canals, and that's up this um, this hill here, and I'm going to try something a little bit braver than normal for this one, and we're going to see how this works, and it's either going to go really well or really badly, and I kind of want to find out which. So I've worked out that if I punch through this um, these barriers here, and then go over this bit, it'll drop me down here really rather close to the checkpoint I can then take that app just sail through that and carry on oh and uh, yes looks like Pete spotted me and there's Mike as well I assume that's oh thank you Pete that was an excellent shot um, all right okay I'm I'm almost free get off me get off me I think that's Tristan in the red um, gee <laughs> It's difficult to um okay let's try up here maybe oh I'm being shot at this isn't good I'm um, I'm in trouble I'm dead ah oh, okay that was rubbish Who's that? Black car. This one here? Yeah, yeah black car so. heading away. Yeah, that one. Oh! <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> uh, oh! Mistakes have happened. Instant regret. You've got a very, like, ramp like front to your vehicle. <laughs> Apparently so. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, really? Nope. Yep. Good work. <laughs> it's the way you got it, you can't put your head right between my gun and his head. I was just like, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's alright, I managed to shoot around you. It's, I, I did not kill you in the head. Or any other part of your anatomy for that. Ow, for that matter. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. Um, as you just saw there, that's that purple car that's now reversing its way back up that ramp there. That's one of the hunters. So this is um, possibly not going to be the safest of starts we've had. Um, yeah, he's definitely suspicious of this area, and I'm not sure I trust the, trust these traffic lights to change colour as quickly as I want them to. So I think I might be going to have to make a run for it. Yes, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I was. It was. I would want to say it was going so well. It, it wasn't going well. I was. Um, I was um, <laughs> just trying to get to the first of the checkpoints. Oh well, never mind. A chase is always good fun. It's a nice way to start off the uh, start off the episode. So, thank you for joining me for an um, once again for another another episode um, of Lawrence tries to escape from his brother. Um, as 
ah, I went through a nice tight area there, um, if you'll pardon the expression. So he, he, he got a bit um, hung up on some of, the, some of the traffic on the way through there, I think. So this might be an opportunity for me to try and escape before he manages to tell all of the... No, he's still quite close behind me. Before he, I was going to say, before he manages to tell all the hunters where I am. Oh, no, this is really awkward. Uh, before he tells all the hunters where I am and they, and they sort of flood in around me. So he's in the... Um, ooh, that orange car is um, also another hunter. So I've just driven across to find the second one. That's that's not ideal. But let's... So I'll go this way instead. Um, <laughs> oh, bus. And again, that's going to be tight and tricky. Nope, he's managed to come straight through there. <sighs> Right, so the, the the big advantage I have over that um, that car is that mine's a bit more manoeuvrable, uh, so I need to stop hooning along the highway and start trying to find some corners and difficult bits to go through. Now this oncoming traffic is possibly going to be a fr my friend unless I do that, but no, he's 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 driving as as well as I am across there, so that's not helping. But if I go out this well, off road isn't going to be great. This is too much towards the checkpoint. I feel like I don't really want to approach the checkpoint in a chase because that feels feels cheap and I, I I don't know. I just oh that was that looked like uh, Pete going in the opposite direction there. So I'm quite glad he just shot up shot past in the wrong direction. Let's let's go through red car park because I don't do that sort of thing very often. Um, it's not gonna yeah it's not gonna give him too many difficulties. As I say, the, the thing I need to do in order to try and get away from him is to take lots and lots of sudden, unexpected corners and sharp corners and corners repeatedly because his massive, heavy boat of a car is going to struggle to stay with me if I do that. And the um, the old slamming on the brakes, the end door braking manoeuvre works quite nicely as well because if I can if I can get to a point where he's beside me um, or behind following me along and is close beside me, I can outbrake him without too much difficulty because my car weighs probably about 10% of what his does <laughs> maybe less oh that was a badly done turn uh, yeah so he's caught up with me now because I completely fouled that corner up um, I'm going on the wrong side of the road again which I mean isn't entirely a bad strategy because it does it does mean that there's a lot of cars being thrown at him as well, because he's he's following me quite closely, quite directly. Oh, he's trying to push me into a wall, I think, when he does that. Right, now, so I've, what I've done, this, this is sort of kind of deliberate, is I've headed down into the ghetto area, because the, the roads down here are tighter and windier, and that, I think, plays to my strengths with this car. I've got a bit more agility than he has, or at least I hope I have, but if I drive into a wall like that, it's not going to help. He's doing quite a good job of sticking with me, though. So this is going to be um, one of those chases that goes on for quite a long time, I suspect. Now, if I go in here, there's a way out like this. Yes, I remember that from a previous episode. So, oh, truck. Ah, no. Oh, <laughs> that was excellent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Found him, multicolored car park. Heading east onto the highway. Which side? He's on the correct side of the road. He's now heading along the T junction to head south along the highway. Oh no, it's not it's not that art gallery, different place. Oh, fair enough. Oh, I was literally just there, just jumped off the highway onto the I'm at so art gallery. Heading now. north. North on the from the west side of Art Gallery. And then take on the, the highway. Next left. Or no, on he's come off the highway now. Right, I'm on the road heading on the west side. We're in Rockford Hills. I see Pete. Uh, the horse statue thing. There's yeah, a pedestrian there. area here. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, five ways. There you go. That's him. Okay. Nearly got Probably me. Ah, uh, man, you know, this one's going to get you. Be back at uh, our we're say. now possibly heading south on the highway. See where he goes. He's beating uh, his car up. Turn left onto the highway immediately. Yeah. We're heading south along um, the highway from the T-junction thing. Ooh, I have made a tactical error. I resolved my tactical error. Still on highway? Yep. Yeah, uh, so co coming off. We are going the wrong way. Gone into the uh, low way, I guess. Okay. The highway that's uh, low down. Yep. Uh, 
Oh, we're I know coming mean. out towards Chinese Monument now. We've g gone off road and uh, west of the building site. Okay. Probably going for checkpoint. Uh, nope, he's going to head past Red Car Park, east. Okay. Nope, going through Red Car Park. Right behind you. Okay, I'll I'll be more aggressive with him then. Did you uh, go straight through? Uh, yes, uh, we're now uh, heading which way? lower. Left turn right. right. Turn right, then right. lower. Then turn Thank left. Uh, right, I probably lost you by now, to be honest. Um, I, I had to stop at the end okay. of Car Park. Um, we slowed down a bit. There's the the sneaky bit off the highway. Go on there, but then, oh, that's very vague. Uh, where, where are, are we? By the hospital. Yeah, I've got you. Ah, oh. I, I crashed. Damn it! Uh, he's, I he's crashed trying to get back. on that sneaky bit. Uh, From hospital, which way? Uh, we're on higher, the higher bit of the higher lower. On the high. Okay. Heading south. He's coming down, down the slope, the okay, I'm down wrong way. Thank you. There you are, see you. Heading due south from there. Okay. Let's give him a bit of a nudge. Keep him on his toes. Uh, which way, left or right? Uh, turn left. Left? Okay. Uh, we're in ghetto. Um, heading towards arena. No, we've t gone off road. Uh, I don't. I don't know the off-road parts in Ghetto. <laughs> He's crashing a lot by a car wash. Heading back the way we came. Uh, I think we're heading. I oh know uh, past the strip club. If that helps either of you. Not really. Yeah, I yeah, know well. <laughs> hey, Pete crashed into him or someone else in the cola van. No, Mike. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What? That was awesome. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. It's been a bit of a difficult evening so far. We've had a few runs and let's just say I'm I seem to be struggling a bit today. Um there's been a couple of times when I've not even managed to get the first real checkpoint. Then there was another one where I got rather unluckily caught, or spotted rather, change, changing cars just after escaping from a chase that felt very unlucky. <clears throat> so given that this is probably going to end up being a lot of very short episodes, I'm going to try doing weird stuff, like driving down alleyways. Now if I'm right, I think there should be two blocks of alleyways here, so I'll pop out here, go across this road, and then go into the next one, and that should bring me out really really close to the checkpoint like this and so I can just sneak through it oh hopefully without getting noticed I think he's probably noticed me there though yes he was doing the let's attack cars as they um, as they try and leave the uh, check as they try and leave the checkpoint given that he's probably just got it however on the plus side <laughs> i feel like that was a really successful way of getting up to the checkpoint even if i didn't actually manage to get away because well basically due to bad luck in that particular case oh no i've fell that up there's a concrete wall there but i'm going slowly enough that i can just drop onto the highway here oh there's cars everywhere <laughs> Okay, let's try... Now, this is a really good trick here, because if you hit this, there's about several ooh, different places you can end up. Now, that isn't quite what I wanted to do, as you can probably tell by the way that I'm upside down. However, the big advantage of going over that jump is, as I said, there's about... you can Depending on how fast you hit it, you can end up in three or four different places. Because there's, there's, there's one place is on the, um, the near side, missing all of the uh, um, higher up... At, Bit, bits of um, bridge, bridgery, for want of a better word. Um, then you can land on either of two bridges that go in slightly different directions, and it's a f and whilst they are joined, it's a faff to try and switch which one you're on. Or if you hit it hard, fast enough, like I did, then you can clear both of them and land on the highway. Now, ideally, you land on the highway the right way up and without doing a sort of a rolling tumble thing. And I'm, I'm kind of lucky actually that that didn't get me killed 
uh, but it's but it means that there's that it scatters the cars a little bit it scatters you you and your pursuers quite nicely as you go over it um, and there's a good chance that you can, from doing that you can you can lose the pursuit because if they end up on a different if they end up on the higher bits which I think Tristan and possibly Mike did I didn't really see exactly how many of them were behind me if they all end up on the um, on the upper bits then you're you're free, you, they, and you, if you're on the lower one, because they can't get to you. So it's fantastic for that, because it throws in a bit of a wild card and stirs the cars up a bit. So yeah, I'm um, I'm, I'm quite liking that that route. Now, there's a car. Oh, I, I don't know. I used one of these before. It was it was okay. No! It wasn't a great car, but right. I'm trying. Oh, so stan yeah, so, yeah, okay. This is the same car. Um, Vapid Stania, yes. Um, where am I trying to get to? Ghetto. Okay, I'm not too far away. Uh, so, yeah, I'm trying to use a variety of different cars because I've, I'm, I'm fully aware that I tend to use... Well, there's three cars in particular. The, um, the Gauntlet, the uh, Radius, and the Blister. I tend to lean very heavily towards those. I mean, I will definitely use any of the Coupes if I see them. Uh, any of the, That's the things like the... Um, Oh, I'm trying to remember some of the names now. Um, the Zion and the, the, those sort of cars. The, the, I'll, I'll use them if I see them, but they don't seem to, they just don't seem to be spawning very much in race mode, which is a, a bit of a problem for for me because, well, if they don't spawn, I can't use. Who was that? that? That's not a radius, is it? I'm trying to accelerate to catch that car up and find out what it is. Is that a radius? Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely a radius. Okay, I got excited. I thought it might be something different that wasn't terrible and it might be worth trying to use but no it was just just another radius now I could head off into the um into the sort of the upper vinewood area and see if I can find a worthwhile car up there but I don't really oh damage this one now I don't really want to spend that much time driving up and down the map because it's just it's a waste of time it'll it's not it's no fun for you guys it's not that interesting for me either to be honest um can I get that one no um, not if I don't press press the right buttons. All right, let's stick with this for, for a minute or two more. Um, even though it's got some damage on the front of it, maybe on the way into Ghetto I can pick up one of those those muscle cars that isn't a gauntlet. I mean, they're not brilliant. Last time I used one of those, I did get caught, um, but that was mostly because I got a tire shot out. So you know that can happen to any car. Um, I say I'm just trying to be a little bit different from my normal selection. That, that, those ones over there, one of them. Um, oh, that blue one, in fact, that's one as well. But the thing is, there's just there's not as much variety available as I would ideally like. Now I'm still only in second. Um, I'm not sure what they're messing around at. Oh, there we go, fourth. Okay, so they are now currently trying to find me. So they're doing the thing where they head out in somewhat random directions just to see if they can uh, work just to see what see how far away from the checkpoint I am and then from there they can then try and guess which car I might be in and try and close in on me um, and so far today Tristan has been alarmingly good at just happening to be heading out in the same direction I'm in and just and, and spotting me so if I see a purple car oh, you're uh, yeah, rage, <laughs> I guess. But it's just, it's yeah. It, uh, hmm. Just have to, just have to try and keep trying to follow the traffic laws to an extent. Um, try and stay lucky. Try not to drive too weirdly because that apparently is one of the big things that gives me away. It's been, it's largely been two things. It's been me driving jankily. Oh, all right, I'm going to switch to a gauntlet because I don't want this Stania. Um, it's been me dr either driving badly and going bump across an intersection when I shouldn't. Or it's been him using the distance indicator to find me. Okay, that's clearly Pete. He's clearly suspicious of me. I'm not sure why, because I'm pretty sure when I, I did look behind me and I saw a green car, but I'm pretty sure it was that muscle car that was behind me, that, that the little one. So that shouldn't have been what tipped him off. I, I'm going to guess that was probably the distance indicator, and he, he drove past me and happened to. So the distance, the uh, his position changed, 
and so that meant he knew that I was nearby. Now he's not in a fireplace this time, so that means I should, in a gauntlet, I should be faster than him. So I should be able to put my foot down and get away from him. However, if I go around the corner and hit street furniture, that's going to slow me down. A bit of swerving like that also going to slow me down. So I think he's probably going to be still be yes. He's still going to be with me. But I can blast up through ghetto again. Now, this is the point where I think actually maybe I should have taken a um, ooh, should have taken a uh, a radius because they are a bit more a bit more nimble. So in ghetto. A, a, nim a nimble, agile car that can just sort of dodge around all over the place and do weird things is actually better than a fast one. So what if I just go around in a circle like that? He's still with me, okay. However, hopefully the acceleration of the gauntlet is going to allow me to pull some funny business like that. There goes Mike in the opposite direction. <clears throat> That's good. Oh, Pete's still with me though. Okay, I was I was hoping that the um, the gauntlet was going to accelerate quickly enough that I could sort of duke in and out of these sort of little tight corners and things, and try and lose him in the fiddly bits. But I think I think that hadn't worked. That's a gap. I'm coming off here. Wee! Oh, that was further down than I expected. Still, never mind. Cars in GTA can drop an extremely long way as long as they land on their wheels. Oop. I think they can. I don't know whether it's actually unlimited, but they can drop a very long way before they pick up any significant damage. Now, I am now going in completely the wrong direction. Uh, where on earth am I? In all seriousness, where am I? Oh dear. I mean, I'm. I have to. I'm not really using the map because at this point, I feel like I should know the ghetto area well enough that looking at the map isn't really going to help and I could oh there's that yeah I'm going back exactly the same way I came from now <laughs> oh well I think I've lost them at this point so I mean apparently I haven't I thought I, I this this keeps happening with Pete maybe it's because his cars are sort of a, a less bright color than some of the other ones but this has not been the first time where I've been absolutely convinced I've lost Pete and then it turns out he's right behind me um, at least this time, I wasn't trying to change cars when he caught up with me. There was one of the episodes, which, I mean, if you've been following the series, you will have out seen the episode. That was more of a dead end than I was hoping for. Um, there was, if you're following the series, you'll have seen the episode where I was um, making a bid for freedom. And, and I was absolutely convinced. And to be honest, having watched the video back, I don't know why I was so convinced. Because I hadn't, even, I hadn't been looking behind me. But I was absolutely convinced that I'd lost him. So I stopped and decided to change cars. There's Mike. <laughs> Let's not chase the hunters. That's a silly game. <laughs> and he's just going to end in tears. Probably my tears. And one of the things, I, I might be being a bit too kind to the hunters here. I'm, I've set myself a sort of a new... A rule is too strong a word because I'm... I, I, it's more of, a, more of a guideline. That I don't want to just... I don't want to take a checkpoint because there's, che there's a checkpoint there. I don't want to take the checkpoints if I've been spotted a significant distance before them, because I, I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite right for the way the game, the way I want the game to play. That's not an alleyway. Accelerate up to speed again, um, because I think if they're if they're right behind, if if they've spotted me, I don't want. I, I feel it's. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing an extremely bad job of putting my thoughts into words here, but I just don't want to be. I'd, if, if, I, if, I, if I feel that I should at least try to be a distance away from the hunters before I try and take a checkpoint, if I'm if they're actually still follow, actively still following me, and they have been for a little while, oh, that was a good pit manoeuvre. Well done, Pete. Then I haven't done a good enough job of getting away, and I feel that my job as prey isn't just to isn't just to try and race through. Oh dear, I'm getting a shot now. I'm in trouble. It's not just to try and get away through speed. Um, oh, for goodness sake, these... Why is it that wood, in, in the GTA universe, wood is the hardest material known to man? I, I am completely stuck. I can't get out. Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe I'm gonna have to stop being nice to them. <laughs> Wow.
one block away, still second. I think that's him going through it now. I think it's one of these cars. Yes, white car, white uh, muscle car with the right red stripe. Yep, got him. Heading east. Going up towards the shopping centre. Heading east. Okay. He's right. taking a right. Keep going, Pete. More speed. <laughs> you are faster than me. Just don't hit me this time. Stay right. Where is he? Uh, heading east across the grass. Uh, we're going onto the highway. He's bubbled onto the highway, yeah. And he's coming uh, off again? Straight off. Uh, this is T junction uh, south, unless he takes the jump. Which he is doing. Which he has. Oh, Tristan! <laughs> was, one of us was going to get stuck. <laughs> he's what upside down down do there. He's heading back uh, east. Ah, couldn't get him. Where about? Do you see him? Uh, yeah, so he's heading down uh, towards the Arcadius building on the highway still. He's dropped oh. onto the wrong side of the traffic. Uh, he's coming over by construction site. I believe he's coming off here. Uh, I have slightly lost track. Yes, he has come yes, off the construction off. site. Taking a left on the bridge, and I've lost sight. I'm to your left. Anyone fourth? Yes. Okay, he's second then. Sorry, I thought you knew that. Third? Uh, I, I've lost track. So I probably right, did. Okay. It is good to reconfirm every so often, just in case you have lost track and didn't realise. This I'm car fourth. here shot across a red light, that was weird. Where's he? Yeah, I've got him. White muscle car, I believe. Like, silver one, black stripe. Heading past Ring of Fire. He's just double back. Uh, heading north. Uh, taking a right down the railway, uh, down the main road, sorry. Uh, past the medical centre. He is. Uh, where are we? Still heading uh, east now. Over the railway tracks. Uh, heading kind of out of ghetto towards oil fields. Right. He's gone left, so heading north. Uh, he's kind of heading towards the motorway type area. And he's taking another left, so I think we're doubling back here. Oh, there's no landmarks. <laughs> uh, we are on the other side of the hospital, I believe. So Just the north back side in of ghetto. hospital. Uh, not yet, but we're on the outskirts. Uh, yeah, yeah, heading back into ghetto now. He's taking a right, so heading north, I think, towards Square of Squares. Yep, yeah. and he's just gone kind of under the um, oh, no, uh, overpass, I guess. We're completely off-road here. Give me a second. Where the hell are you going? He's trying to lose me really hard. And kind of doing a good job. Right, we are heading back into ghetto now. Okay. Uh, he's heading down over the railway tracks. No, he's not. Sorry. We're a road up from that. Uh, we're by the strip oh, club. Sorry. Uh, coming out of the strip club, he's going through all the alleys. Uh, right, heading back towards Square of Squares. Heading towards Square of Squares. Taking a left just before Square of Squares here. Traffic on my way. Another left. He's heading onto the motorway. We are heading west down the motorway. Ah, oh, that's where you go past. Ow. Uh, oh, still on that. the main. If we go down the motorway, he's bubbled off onto the lower motorway. Uh, I've spun, so I'm not going to lose my think. Yeah, I have. I think lost him, or is that him? Uh, could be him actually. No, I think I might have had him. We are heading towards Mains Bank Arena. Still on the motorway? Still on the motorway, yeah. He's done a bit of a cross where the motorway intersects slightly. Um, give me a second to work my bearings here. Okay. Uh, he is double back. Uh, he's in a bugger trying to lose me. Um, we are heading down, I believe, into Ghetto off the motorway now. Where oh, are you I going? See. Was that you? 
it was. He was <laughs> driving like AI. <laughs> Don't lose me. Right, he is heading off-road again. Give me a second. We're probably going to head back into Ghetto, I believe. I can work out where on earth he's going. I might have lost him. Right. Bugger. There he is. Right. We are back in Ghetto. He's taking all the side roads. Other way, Mike. So I, I yeah. saw Peter ahead of me. Okay. Mike is going to head down the tracks this way. We're back onto the, one of the roads. Uh, onto a main road. I don't really know where I am. Right, on the road with the railway tracks. There we go. On the tram tracks. Heading, I think, east down the tram track. No, sorry, west down the tram tracks, I should say. At speed. Oh, yep. At the rail station. There he is, Mike. Right, you. Yep. He rear-ended me. He's a very naughty boy. Uh, taking a left, so we're doubling back. There's, oh, where did you come from? Turning right, heading, turning right again. <laughs> uh, the, I've joined the chase. Another... I see you two. I haven't seen him. Good. Another right. He's heading towards the checkpoint now. He's turned right at the junction just before the checkpoint. We're heading uh, straight. Heading yeah, past the petrol station. Still heading north, or west, sorry. Taking a left in front of the church. Need to mark that church on the map. And taking a right again, straight afterwards, down the road with the tram tracks. And taking another right. And taking another right straight away into an alleyway. Turned and right another right again. Then left. And then left, that's it, yeah, that's the guy. I stopped just after the alley. And then right again. Fitted him. Good work. Yeah, and into the petrol station. <laughs> and then he's crashed it. I've got him pinned from behind if you've got him from the front. That should be Sorry, at least one of the tyres. You have got one of my tyres, yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> got him pinned if you can get around the corner quickly. I'm sh I want to point at him, I want to point at him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Rude. I mean, defense, it was going to happen. <laughs> True. <laughs> but it was going to be Mike otherwise. <laughs>